everyone, today I'm going to be taking a look at the accessibility options of a Mac. Mac OS X comes with many accessibility options available for those with hearing impairments, visual impairments, or just someone who wants to use their Mac a little bit better. The first of many accessibility features are the display features. As you know, I have a MacBook Pro Retina. So the MacBook Pro Retina has a very nice display. It's nice and crisp, and it's nice and clear, and it's nice and bright. You're also able to easily dim the display on any Mac by using the F1, or the equivalent of F1 and F2 keys. So by doing that, you won't be able to see it on your screen, but I can see my screen dimming. That's the first accessibility feature that can be used by anyone. Next is the keyboard. On a MacBook Pro, most every MacBook now has a backlit keyboard. This allows you to view the keys at low light and things like that. That's also controlled by a key. Next are accessibility features that are within the software itself. So if, to access these facilities, you go down to the dock and click on System Preferences. Next, click on Accessibility or search for Accessibility in the top right corner. Here you have all the accessibility options available to you from Apple themselves. There are many other applications that allow you to magnify the screen, allow you to uh, change the screen resolution and things like that. That's also in the display settings, not located here. You'd find them under display settings. So let's zoom in here using one of the features that I'm going to talk to you about and have a look at the options here. First off, we have to invert the colors. Now, I'm unsure if this will show up in the QuickTime recording, but that's think of it as revert, inverting the colors. So what appears to be, um, yeah, you know, when things go black, when you invert the colors. Another thing is use grayscale. It's quite interesting, and it, it really does make a difference. Um, it's interesting. Next up is the to enhance the contrast of the Mac. Now, I don't think this will come up on the screen either, but you can enhance the contrast. You can also enlarge the cursor, which is what I've done. Um, I myself am visually impaired, so I find it a little bit easier to have my cursor at, not that big, that big. I also use zoom a lot. A zoom is probably one of the main reasons why I got a Mac, because it's so easy to just hit the control key and scroll in by using two fingers on your trackpad or scrolling in with a mouse. This isn't set by default, but just go in here and click on this little button here. Next, you're going to want to go to More Options, and you're going to want to click, select Continuously with Pointer. You can also say the minimum zoom and the maximum zoom. So you can zoom in all the way. And again, because I have a MacBook Pro Retina, the text does not appear pixelated. It appears very, very smooth at the end of the day when I zoom it in. Another one is the voiceover. So voiceover is for those who are completely blind and it reads out text to you. So instead of uh, clicking once and selecting item, you have to double click the item. Um, first click reads out the text of the item and tells you what it is. So for example, if it's a button, let's have a look here. Enable voiceover. Welcome to voiceover. Voiceover speaks descriptions of items on the screen and can be used to control the computer using only your keyboard. Yeah, so it's more so keyboard, so you use the cursor keys and other key combinations and things like that. Macs also have a whole bunch of keyboard shortcuts, The I have done a video on that, so go have a look at that. And it's really easy to just use the keys. If you're a touch typist, you'll know what I mean by key commands because they're so useful. Other things are audio, so things like using play stereo audio as mono, um, or flash the screen when an alert, so when a, an application alerts you of something, so for example if Final Cut Pro finishes exporting a video, it'll flash the screen and also tell you the audio, the alert. Captions, and then the rest of keyboard uh, things, mouse and trackpad, so things like mouse keys, uh, click delay, double click speed, switch control, um, it's interesting I haven't actually played around with that. And speakable items. Speakable items will most likely be getting an update in the next version of Mac OS X because they'll most likely be integrating Siri, that's my opinion anyway. Um, speakable items don't really work too well at this point in time. They work, but it's more so just for what time is it and things like that. It's nowhere near up to par with things like Siri. But Apple, since they own Siri, I'm sure they'll be able to integrate that in in the future. 
another thing I want to show you about, I want to tell you about, is speech, and specifically text to speech. Text to speech is another huge advantage of uh, being visually impaired and owning a Mac. You're able to easily highlight text just by using the mouse cursor or using your uh, cursor keys and voiceover. And with that, you're then able to play back text. You're able to change the voice. So you have a number of voices here. I'll go show you the default one by clicking play. Most people recognize me by my voice. So that's the sound or that's the voice you'll hear when you uh, select text and uh, press the key combination that you use to listen to it back. So for example, if I go to text edit, if I open up text edit, and if I make a new document by hitting command N and type in hello all, how are you today? Question mark. If I hit command A, it selects all the text. And if I hit command uh, comma, no, com command semicolon. Hello all, how are you today? It reads back the text to me. I've set this up uh, just by going into this preference here and I clicked change key. And from there on, you can change the key to say command two, but I prefer it. Command plus two. I prefer it to be command plus two. Not that. That we go. Oop. Command semicolon because that works best for me because I always have my fingers on the home key and the pinky is always there. So just click, bam, done. That's probably my favorite feature. Um, dictation is also here. Dictation allows you to dictate to your Mac and it'll speak what you want to, it'll type in what you want to say. So let's give that a try. Mine's set to function, so double tap function and see this little thing here? This comes up. And I don't think it would get, hello, this is a test. So see, no typing there and it just picks it up automatically. Yeah, so it's not the best, and you have to speak a little bit slower. Testing, testing. One, two, three. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Period. New line. So things like this really work great on a Mac, and it's a reason to buy a Mac if you have a disability, if you have a vision impairment, if you have a hearing impairment, things like that. All this software is built in for you. And I'm just sitting here talking and the microphone just picks it up. I'm not even talking into the correct microphone I should be. Um, it just keeps on going and going. Um, obviously there are some flaws and obviously it needs to get used to your voice. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop that now. Um, so that's dictation, that's all that. And the resolution, again, you can change the resolution on the MacBook Pro Retina. But personally, I prefer to have it nice and clear and just zoom it in. I mean, that's as easy as it gets and as smooth as it gets. So they are the main accessibility features of a Mac that I wanted to share with you today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I know I have. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like the video and give me some feedback. I want to know what you want to see. I want to know if you enjoyed this kind of video where I just talk and share my opinion and why I think Macs are great because of their accessibility features. I mean, you think about it, Windows has Windows Magnifier and Narrator, but they're nowhere near as polished and nowhere near as good as what they are on Mac OS X. Apple really do have a, a good track record of keeping everyone able, allowing everyone to use computers. There are other things like drag and dictate for Mac, which also work really well. Um, if you have any other accessibility tools that you might use, please drop a comment below or send me an email or recommend them on my site at toddstechtips.com. Thanks again for watching and hope you have a nice day.